right, it's day 66. As you can see, there's no progress here in the shade pot. If we go over here, this shoot has made quite a bit of development in just two days. And also there's a new shoot right in the middle. So it's hard to tell whether this one comes from the rhizome buried on the left or the right, but I'm thinking it's from the right. So we'll see if there's any activity on the other side of the pot for the next few days. So far, we're off to a pretty good start. All right, it's day 71 of this ginger series. Still nothing going on at all in that pot. I'm gonna pan over and check out this pot. It's still the same two shoots, but they're a lot bigger. You know, um, this thing has developed a little bit, although it's probably maybe a week behind in terms of development compared to this thing. Yeah, this is the only way to get it to focus, otherwise he's focusing on the dirt. But everything looks really healthy, I mean, you have a little bit of curling and stuff, but that's unavoidable. And this thing is, you know, quite tall. It's as uh, tall as my medium-sized finger span. You know, so, I don't know, is that like 20 centimeters or something like that? It's uh, pretty impressive and healthy looking so far. And the soil is dry, so water a little bit, but not in the other pot because that thing never seems to need more water lately. It's just in the shade, so it doesn't really have an evaporation issue like this pot does. But the sun's heat really, really, really helps uh, with development here, so. You know, it's totally worth it. And don't be afraid to totally pour on the water and be aggressive. Oh, actually, there's another shoot down there. All right, so it's kind of hard to see there, but you know, you have a green cone sticking out. And I'm gonna continue watering. It's unclear whether that came from the rhizome that was waterlogged in hydrogen peroxide and buried on the left, but I'm still thinking that all three of these came from the towel ground one. And I'm going to continue watering a little bit. Yeah, so this pot is going to be a real water hog because the surface soil these keeps getting soaked. I mean, it keeps getting dried out by uh, the sun.